Hey, this week's video is just to let you know what's going to happen with the channel from now on. Now that the, the camera overview project is finished. So I'll give you my evaluation of how that project went. Um, and also I'll, you know, tell you my ideas for what kind of videos I'm going to do uh, in this sort of second phase of the channel. So let's see. Uh, overall, I thought the camera overview project was a partial success, maybe mostly a failure. Um, I wasn't really able to like make the big significant changes, improvements in my public speaking that I wanted to do. Um, I'm not super nervous before I start uh, recording the video, but I get more and more nervous as the video goes on. And I'm still doing all the same things, though maybe not as, not as much. Still uh, grinning constantly or at least sort of contorting my face a little bit. Uh, that's called inappropriate affect, when you smile when you're uncomfortable or nervous about something. Um, I'm still having problems with eye contact. Uh, and saying, uh, saying um and uh, and things like that and stuff like that or <laughs> those sorts of verbal tics and uh, do, you know doing the thing with, with my with my mouth um, and you know just getting discombobulated once in a while misspeaking all the time uh, things like that, so, um, I think, I mean, I should have, like, <laughs> uh, cut things off a lot earlier in the project because something's not working out, uh, quit and move on to the next approach. So, uh, I tried all sorts of things, like, writing a script and memorizing it, um, tried watching videos over and over so I became really aware of when I was doing certain things, um, I tried changing my uh, attitude about uh, how you relate to the audience and how you perceive how you understand and think about speaking to people. Um, maybe what you should think of it as being an exchange uh, about something you're um, excited about instead of seeing it as a performance. Um, uh, you know, oh, so I, I also tried practicing in front of a mirror, so watch myself um, and sort of learn to control my facial expressions. Uh, none of it really worked, so I really just basically demonstrated that I could not <laughs> improve a skill on my own. So that's great. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, I'm thinking I'll try speech therapy the next, um, that's, I think, yeah, I think that's the next thing I'm going to try to do, speech therapy. Um, Got to sort out the whole um, healthcare thing because I didn't exactly have the greatest coverage last year. Uh, so. Maybe I'll come up with something uh, effective uh, 
this year. But it, it, but that's not my goal for this channel anymore. Because uh, it just didn't pan out. So, second section. Uh, my ideas for this channel go going forward are basically to do uh, try to do two videos each uh, month. Uh, one video on sort of like a random topic uh, about equipment or some kind of other photographic skill or something. And then the second video, I want to do that on the fourth week of the month. And that's an up, that'll be an update on how one of my photo projects is going. Um, as far as ideas for the, the first video of the month, uh, I got a bunch written down. So there's like equipment stuff, like I could make a video on tripods, um, shoulder bags, straps, filter holders, darkroom equipment like enlargers and densitometers, scanners, projectors, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I could also do videos about things like issues in camera repair uh, in, you know, the, the 20s. Uh, uh, I could discuss photo books and photo zines. I could do some fun stuff here and there, like a Leica ASMR video that I was thinking about doing a while back, just for fun. And uh, I could do like buying guides, like overviews of all the different types of cameras so you can uh, go research them and figure out what you want to buy. Uh, and uh, it also issues in different various genres of photography, like street photography, travel photography, documentary, etc. And uh, I also want to do a bunch of sort of more instruction oriented videos. <clears throat> like uh, for street photography, um, like there aren't any videos at all about scale focusing by CO, which is the most powerful technique uh, for um, using these range finders for street photography. So there are uh, technique videos like that I can talk about how to do exposure, <clears throat> determine your own exposure index. Um, there's also like darkroom stuff like how to dodge and burn prints and uh, spot tone and uh, how to do test strips and all, all that sort of thing. But um, there are also other uh, skills like how to edit your photos, uh, how to catalog your photos, um, how to archive photographic materials, uh, also like digital preservation, digital asset management, um, sort of uh, maybe some um, uh, repair videos like how to fix such and such uh, kind of camera or problem, um, how to repaint cameras, that's I want to figure out how to do that. Um, Restore old one cameras like the Kodak 2D, um, and also other skills, um, soft skills or whatever, like project management, uh, information literacy, and how to do research on the history of photography, or the history of cameras, or how to do research on a particular photographer or something. <clears throat> like that. So uh, I'll make a little poll or something uh, on Instagram uh, at ugly cameras. Uh, so you can like, you know, pick which video you're most interested in. Uh, so uh, I can you can help me decide what to do next. And uh, for the second video 
like the update on my photo projects. So I'll do that as a vlog, I guess. But I'll just sort of put together a bunch of different clips uh, uh, about, you know, just to show you what I'm up to. Uh, to like, you know, uh, to show you the creative process, the <clears throat> behind the scenes look type stuff. So uh, I got a couple projects that I'm working on right now. Uh, the first one is um, panoramic photos of my commute. Um, I've been taking photos of my commute for like, I don't know, <laughs> like 15 years or something. So finally started using the uh, anamorphic lens on my phone. Uh, so that's the latest phase of that project. Um, uh, it hasn't been going that great just because it's so annoy annoying to use an iPhone. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm sticking with that project, so I'll show you how that's going. Um, also, uh, I've also been trying to work on another project, which is like uh, portraits of early career librarians, especially people of color and people from underrepresented groups. But uh, it's uh, that, that that project is dead because I just, I don't know, uh, I'm, a little, I'm a little too, I'm not outgoing enough to like get subjects. People are busy anyway, so <laughs> why, why, why are they going to bother sitting for a portrait on the weekend when they have tons of other things to do? Um, uh, so that project is getting cancelled. Um, but uh, the, the two projects that I want to do uh, in, the, in the near future, I want to start doing in the near future, is um, one, I want to start doing sort of like <clears throat> uh, urban landscape type photos of trees, you know, lit by street lamps. And uh, I also want to do a project on like interracial families, because I'm interracial. Uh, well, multiracial, whatever you want to call it, mixed, some, whatever. Um, uh, oh, uh, multiracial families and couples. So I want to do portraits. Um, uh, you know, that might be different from the last uh, portrait project because I'd be dealing with strangers, people I don't necessarily know from work or anything. So. Uh, so that, yeah, I'm looking forward to those. Um, and yeah, I'll just make vlogs to show you uh, the process from start to finish. Uh, you know, uh, hopefully that's interesting. So uh, that's basically uh, what I'm going to be doing on this channel from now on. Uh, one video, second week of the week, just whatever random photo topic. Uh, second video on the fourth uh, Sunday of the week of, of the month. Uh, update on my photo projects. So I'll be trying to work on those in the uh, in the ex in the extra free time I have so now that I don't have to do video every week. And. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, thanks for uh, you know subscribing or commenting or liking my photos in the first phase of the channel, and then hopefully you'll stick around for the second phase. Uh, so anyway, uh, 
Thanks for watching again, and hope you have a nice week.